So over the past couple of weeks, I have completely fallen in love, see about, with orchids and beautiful flowers. I'm already like a plant gardening holic, you know, I have whatever growing, um, any vegetables and fruits and things, berries mostly and things like that growing i have bought a avocado trees this year and i actually need to do an update on my garden for um this year so far um nothing's really great because it's just now starting for me it's just now starting to warm up it's may and i kind of wish that it was warmer sooner in my area but i live um in new york it's cold up until about now and um yeah, so I started getting really into orchids. Why? Because I went to BJ's and I, I talked about this in the last video that I posted. I went to BJ's and I saw many, many orchids there and they were so cute. So I got a set of two. They were like two in a pack for $10. So I got one. And then the next time I went back to um, BJ's, I got another set of two and then I decided you know after watching a bunch of videos on how to take care of them because I um, for some reason had it in my head that uh, orchids should be planted the same way cactuses are so I basically put them in the same um, potting mix that I have my Elvira in and they started to like the the roots immediately like pretty much started to die off which um, I decided at that point to start looking at how to take care of these plants because I don't want to buy any more plants and have them die on me at all because you know especially plants that are supposed to last you for years like I feel like that's a waste of time and money to you know allow a plant to die so I started doing research and I came across Miss Orchid Girl, Miss Orchid Girl, on um, YouTube, and Samantha's Orchids, and a couple other channels, and I started like really getting into it and watching and how to take care of them. And I, then I started seeing all the different kinds of orchids that are out there, and I started to absolutely fall in love. So from there, I went to, or to Home Depot and I got two more orchids. Mind you, at this point, I have only Phalaenopsis orchids. This is two, three weeks in. And then um, two days ago, I decided that I wanted some different orchids. So I called my local um, nursery that has like different kinds of um, flowers and things. And they had some insidiums and they had some... Milton Miltonias and they had some um some more phalaenopsis and I think that's pretty much all that they really had. I asked them if they had any uh cataleas, which I really really want at least one catalea. And I asked them if they had any vandas, they didn't have anything like that. So um that's something if I want to get it, I might end up having to get it online. I got two Uncidiums and then I went to Home Depot and I got one more Phalaenopsis and then I went to Trader Joe's and I wasn't going to get any um, flowers from Trader Joe's but they had one Phalaenopsis there and it was the one with the white with the dark pink in the middle and it was so cute. It was the only one that was left and it was I think it was the only one that was left because it had a bunch of blooms that were not open yet. So I got that and then I got a couple um, more containers, like the little jars from um, home, from home Depot, from Trader Joe's. And I, what I did with all the orchids so far is I pretty much took every single one of them except for my Insidiums and one of my Phalaenopsis and I repotted them all and put them in water culture. So right now, I haven't had them completely in water culture the entire time. It's been a couple of days for all of them. And I've been like slowly one by one, like I repotted some of them in bark medium, but then I decided against bark medium. And I um, took them out like one by one and put them in water culture as I saw that, you know, the other ones were doing fine. And I figure, okay, this is, um, you know, going to be a good medium for me. And 
I don't have to constantly have to rebuy bark or worry about repotting because the pot might be too small or you know whatever what have you with um with dealing with pots with mediums and, and things today I decided that I really wanted another Uncidium, the one that smells like chocolate because they had one there and I went and got one it's in the seat belt right now so I just wanted to show you hold on I'm in traffic right now they're doing construction ta-da this is my new they picked up the two the other day and neither of the two that I have have any fragrance to them but this one does and this one is the one that's supposed to smell like chocolate and vanilla and all that sweet goodness and I had it at my desk while I was at work because I didn't want to leave it in the hot car and it smells absolutely heavenly I love it so that is going to be a very, very nice addition to my collection. I have, this makes 11 so far. I said I was going to stop at 13. So 13, I think I'll probably get a Catalea. And I want a Vanda. But I'm not sure if I'm ready to make that plunge yet. Because Vandas grow huge, even though... It'll be a long time before they get huge. So I think I'm going to get a Vanda anyway. If I can find one for not a crazy amount of money um, on eBay or wherever I decide to get them from. I think I'm going to get a Catalea from eBay because I saw one or two that were very interesting to me. So yeah, I, um, I go all in. Like when I fall in love with something like I fall hell head over heels and I just go all in until I'm satisfied and I'm semi satisfied right now I just really want a Catalea Cataleas are so pretty like so beautiful such beautiful flowers and the the main thing about these flowers that draw me to them Aside from this one, this one is all about the smell. I love these flowers, though, actually. Like, when I saw it there, I'm like, okay, that's really different. And I wasn't sure if I loved it. But now that I know that it smells like chocolate, I love it. It smells like floral vanilla chocolate. It's a really great smell. Like, if they could make that into a perfume, I'd wear it every day. Um... But like when I when I fall in love with something, I just I go all in until I'm satisfied and I'm semi content right now. I just really want a Catalea, but I can wait. But once I hit number 13, because that's my number, I think I'll be good because <laughs> I, I don't really have enough room on my little table in my bedroom because that's where I have them. So I can go to sleep next to them every night and wake up to them every morning and they just put a smile on my face and they make me happy. <laughs> Yeah, so that's what I did. That's what I do. I'm still eating raw vegan mostly. Not completely raw vegan, but I have been eating mostly raw vegan. It's definitely helping me out. I'm definitely noticing a big difference in um, how I feel. I'm in detox mode still. Like it's been, it's been since what, like March? February or whenever when I decided that I was gonna go raw vegan and I started eating raw vegan um, or mostly raw vegan and I did um, I did a master cleanse for four days um, two weeks ago and I I feel great but like I'm still in detox mode like I still have all this acne everywhere and you know it's not really going away and I, I'm you know things are changing but they're changing very slowly so I'm hoping that you know I don't have much more of this here to deal with and things go back to or not go back to normal but um go to where I'm in you know my healthiest state my kids are doing very well with um eating vegan my son actually 
told me yesterday that they uh, made they made, special made him pizza with vegan um, hot dogs on it instead of pepperonis and no cheese and vegetables and I was like oh yay like you know they they know that he's vegetarian vegan and you know I I don't go crazy over what my kids eat in school because I don't want them to um. I want them to choose for themselves what they're going to eat. Like, I do go at them and say, why are you eating dead animals and dead body parts and things like that? But, you know, they know what is going on. And as long as they make the choice for themselves, that is what makes me happy. And so far, so good. They are making the choice and... You know, my kids love animals, so it's only natural, like, if you love animals and, like, the way my, my oldest son is, like, you know, um, he was watching something online and there was, like, a child being chased or hurt by a dog and, you know, uh, uh, an adult came and, like, hit the dog with a stick or, so, or something like that and he was more concerned about the dog than he was about the child and I'm like okay so basically you like animals more than you like humans I mean that's fine but don't eat animals then you know <laughs> so yeah he's that they all are definitely catching on and they're doing very well with the veganism or vegetarianism at the, at the very least um what else the app I put out version 1.4.9 about a week and some change ago or however long I don't even know at this point and um, I'm gonna put out 1.4.10 um, probably this weekend because I, I did see some tweaks that I need to change and I haven't even, I had to step away from the programming for a little while which is probably why I've been so immersed in the orchids um because I was like kind of getting burnt out because when you're programming and you're trying to make something perfect um and you keep coming across like silly little mistakes or um you know things that you may have overlooked and you know just all kinds of things like that it's so frustrating and it's just good to walk away for a little while and then come back to it later so my I'll show you all my um orchids when I get home